Brady's going to try to catch some minnows here. Snag the trap. There we go. Nothing in it. Five thousand dollars worth of minnows. Nice one, Sid. No, well, we don't need all of them. That's for sure. Crazy. No excuse now for the walleye today. Welcome back to Sunnerberg Outdoors. We're heading out for walleye again in the fall. I'm with Al and the goat himself, Brady Schwartz. We're down the creek here uh, trying to get some bait, get some minnows, and we did pretty good. What do you think is going to happen today, Brady? Well, we got the moose tag filled, the bear tag filled this week. Now time to catch some walleye and have some fun fishing. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. I'm ready, Brady. I'm ready when you are. It's up to you now. There you go. What do you got? That's a nice one, yeah. Come on, baby. Swam right in it. Good one. Don't be scared, Brady. Don't be scared. Stay down. What's running? Bend the tail down. 17 and a half. You good? I'm a little hump on it. A little hump. Okay, watch it. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's ready. It's over. Oh, yeah. Oh. Last vid with Alan and Sarah, the walleye were quite aggressive, biting t jigs, snap jigging, going crazy, getting snagged, hitting it on the bottom. This time they were quite subdued and didn't want to hit anything. We tried different colors, different sizes, different types on the bottom, up in the air, did make a difference. Jigging wrap here, I don't know what it is. We got a couple, but not very much. Today was definitely a live bait day. An old walk and sinker, maybe a two, three foot lead, a number two or number four hook, depending on the size of the minnow, and that seemed to work. And even that sometimes, they were still a little spooky. Light. Just look at that. It's a floater. It's 
posing. He's posing here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, that's an eater. You want to eat some fish, eh? No, I don't think so. No, perfect. That's good. 16 and a half, I think, or something. No, like 16 is full, probably. Because it was such a beautiful day, we were just driving around with the trolling motor, watching on live scope, looking for fish. They were all found in the 20 to 30 foot level. When we seen fish, we stayed on them and vertically were jigging. One thing to be aware of when fishing in 30 feet of water or more when reeling in a fish is the possibility of barotrauma or the bends like divers get. The sudden change in water pressure causes this. Signs are bulging eyes, swim bladders in her mouth, or just being distressed. Our fish were all good. There are many ways to try to alleviate this, but none are 100% proven. Trout are one of the only fish that can expel gas or burp. They can regulate their own swim bladder. If you catch a fish with these signs, the best thing to do is fish shallower, especially if you want to release the fish. I'll link an article explaining this much better in the description. All right. Hang on, Brady. Hang on. Hang on. I'll get the net, Brady. Don't worry about it. Something heavy. Well, something heavy is okay. You don't need fish with bouncing. It's not a big rock. A rock. Here comes rock star number four. Like oh, it's off. Brady. That was a good one. Could have mounted that one. Pipe. We only got three hours left in his memory card, Brady, so you better uh, make a count. Well, that's what he tells me. I mean, I don't know. There it is. That sounds like a stout one, eh? A gill. It's getting deeper. Things on it too there. Back to the deck. Do the bait fish up there, Brady. See all the hair? Oh, look. See the bait right, fish yeah, up ball. there? Ball. Ball on. See the fish on the bottom. Yeah. Fish are there. We'll I'm see. Bait fish. We just got some water. I got some water. Okay. He's a white one. White buggers, eh? He bowed her. I cast it out to him. I seen him out there and I cast it out to him. Oh, there you go. It was a walleye. Big one? 
I don't even get, don't even get up to get the net. That's pretty ignorant, eh? Oh, bye There you go. <laughs> push, push. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is, too. Okay, you want me to reel that in? It's not very good. Well, it looked good on the hook set. It looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, this one. There you go. Well, there you have it. Quite a few walleye today. Some nice eaters. The water temperatures are getting lower and the bite's coming on. I'd like to thank Alan and Brady for a really good trip. Anything you want to add, Brady? Yeah, good day fishing with the two old guys. Out fish them again. It was a fun time, lots of walleye. And nice. Uh, How about you, other old guy? Oh, it was fun as usual. Lots of stories and lots of laughs and uh, quite a few fish, so all good. Right on. Thanks for watching, and as always, punching out.